This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a triangles problem. And getting this problem right quickly involves a series of helpful tricks that I'll show you um, that you can employ to solve this without making mistakes. Now, we're trying to calculate, at the end of the day, the greatest possible value of y. It's not the value of y, it's the greatest possible value of y. That makes this problem a little bit more complicated than, than your average Joe. I'm going to circle y here so we know what we're trying to keep track of. Now, we have three values in this triangle, and we want to simplify. We're told that y is equal to z plus 3. It's tempting to plug in for y at this point. But since we're trying to solve for y, I'd rather not do that. So I'm actually going to modify this equation a little bit. I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides such that I can say y minus 3 equals z. Now I'm actually going to plug in for z. So z is equal to y minus 3. Now we have three angles in our triangle, but we only have two variables. Because so I can keep track of x, y, and y minus 3. Now we're actually told some information about x. We're told x is greater than 60. And what you'd like to do is plug that into some kind of equation, but x is greater than 60 doesn't plug in very well. So first, let's build the equation we would like to plug it into. Um, we know that in any triangle, the sum of the angles is equal to 180. So if we plug into that, we'll end up with x plus y plus y minus 3 equals 180. So what you'd like to do now is take this x greater than 60 and plug that in. But you can't really plug an inequality into an equation. Or can you? Let me show you a little trick you can use so that you can do that. Um, instead of plugging in 60, try plugging in literally GT60, which stands for greater than 60. And let me show you how this works out. What we'll end up with is GT60, which I'm going to treat as a number, so I'll put that in parentheses, plus 2y minus 3 equals 180. And now I'm going to do algebra on this equation. I'm going to treat gt60 like a number. So let's add 3 to both sides. And we'll end up with gt60 plus 2y equals 183. Now I'm going to subtract gt60 from both sides. And we're going to end up with 2y equals, and this is, the, uh, this is the interesting part of this. We have to figure out what 183 minus greater than 60 is. Now, if we took 183 and subtracted 60, I'll put this over on the side, 183 minus 60, that equals 123. But we're not subtracting 60. We're subtracting something larger than 60. So we know that 123 is, is the largest that this number will ever get. Because we might subtract 60, but we might subtract 70, in which case the number would be only 113. So if the largest is 123, and it could be even less, what we should end up with is 2y is equal to something less than 123. All right, now let's divide both sides. Keep going. Divide both sides by 2. And you'll end up with y is equal to, I'm going to plug this into a calculator since it doesn't divide evenly, 61.5. y is equal to less than 
61.5. And you can convert this into y is less than 61.5 if you want to put that into a notation which is more familiar. So now we can solve this problem. We're told that y is an integer. And now we want to know the greatest possible value of y. So if y is an integer and it's less than 61.5, what's the largest thing that it could be? 61, which is answer choice A.